Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Waking up from the nightmare beloved. Many wonder why some things still happen today. Some even say that God is not fair, for he allows so much wickedness among men. It is understandable that the outrage takes over for some moments, but it is also impossible to understand that these are the final tests within this planetary transition. So many times it has been said here that the earth is a soul school. And all souls who were willing to come here to experience duality, knew that the rule was based on proofs and atonement, not to mention that the veil of oblivion would give the sense of separation from the source. However, much has been said lately that everything was a scene like a true theater of life. And every soul incarnated on earth lived its character, magnificently, in each incarnation, as if it were indeed all very real. Like every school we know, this school of life is no different. Once the learning is completed, your students move to another school, always at a higher level. This level change is also called the planetary transition. The earth will cease to be a world of trial and atonement, and will shift to the frequency of a world of regeneration, where illusion will cease to exist. Nothing will be the same here for eons. We are in the last academic year of this school. The current incarnation, will define who is fit to move up to the next level, and who still needs reinforcement in learning. Remembering that the basis that will sustain approval is the state of mind of each student. No use knowing the lessons if they are not put into practice in real life experiences. Do you remember your school days, when at the end of the course, there were practical tests, obviously depending on the profession that everyone was preparing for. The final tests will determine the fitness of each incarnate soul, and will also determine to which planet school, the reproved ones will be guided. So we'll have two timelines defined now one will lead to the new earth, and the other will go the opposite direction, that is, out of it. New earth will be right here on this planet, however, no longer on the same energetic frequency as the old earth. This present incarnation will also have the function of adjusting the frequencies of each soul according to individual vibrations. All human beings currently incarnate are capable of ascending, however many will not make any effort for it. The Creator has a special shelter for each incarnate soul on earth. He will do everything so that none of them are lost in that final stretch. Contrary to what we might imagine, the events we see everywhere are actually opportunities for those souls who still need to go through such situations. In addition to the opportunity to redeem pre-parite addictions, they offer conditions for many to still develop within themselves compassion, solidarity, unconditional love, respect, cooperation, and so many others preached. The nightmare that seems to be being lived right now is part of the apocalypse, which is nothing but the revelation of what could not be seen or known before. It is the truth that will free the consciences still trapped in illusion. We have a biblical phrase that says, and when all seems to be the end, it will not really be the end of the world, but the beginning of a new age. We are exactly at this point. There are times when even the widest consciences tremble at the facts that are happening, especially the truth about humans. Run away from the capacity of human understanding, the ardaliness of the group that still dares to command the fate of humanity on earth. We have seen in recent years, the barbarities grow a lot and also the number of humans showing their true selves. Show them what the Lord they serve and they are no longer scrupulous in doing it. They show that they were serving the dark entities that seized the planet long ago. They also believe that they will continue their dominion eternally, which we know is impossible, because the Creator has already given enough. Nothing and no one can replace God's plans. If everything was allowed, it's because there was a purpose from the Most High for it. The limited consciences of the incarnate souls, did not allow to understand the true experience sought here, but now we are going to enter another level of perception, and everything is being revealed and understood. Each consciousness will receive updated information according to its capacity for understanding. Can't expect any revelation for those who can't grasp the message. 
Many of you who are already being prepared for the days to come, will also have the mission to guide and enlighten those who will seek help, since they will wake up in shock. It will be a way to practice solidarity, compassion, love and respect for others. But you need to have this perception of reality, because without this wider awareness, instead of helping, you will also need help. Remember that everything that's happening these days is mechanisms of Creator Himself, used to awaken consciences. We need to wake up from the nightmare that has plagued humanity for all time and especially in recent years. It's the way the current timeline has in order to avoid that of Armageddon. How to wake up humanity in any other way? Many countries are going through difficult situations, not because of the natural limitations of the region or of their people, but because of their hybrid rulers, who engage in a dancient mechanism that ends up hurting an entire nation. Some souls who align themselves with such frequencies, whether by mental alienation, sympathy or interests, may now better evaluate their conduct, for compacting with evil is part of it. Nothing will be the same from now on. The nightmare is ending and when we wake up, we can realize that everything was just an illusion. Each soul incarnated on this planet has a unique, individual and personal story, for it was the sum of its characters lived in each incarnation that built its consciousness. This will also be the book of your life, written in every word, all your experiences. You are waking up from the nightmare now the feeling that everything seemed real, is true, but soon, you will understand that it was such a perfect illusion, that the impression recorded in fact was nothing more than an illusion, that is, a perfect theatrical performance. You have played your part so well, that the emotions you lived were imprinted on your soul records, therefore, they will be immortalized as a faithful experience. Your story will be unique, and will be told indefinitely throughout the infinite cosmos. You are waking up now from this nightmare, but you have to realize that in fact, it was just a dark dream. Wake up! The day is already high. I'm Vital Frozy and my mission is enlightenment. Namaste.